In this video we're going to take a green LED, a bench power supply and some graph paper and plot what happens to current as we adjust the voltage on the LED. The result of this will give us the IV curve for the LED. The bench power supply makes this quite easy. We can adjust and set a limit on the current. In this case I'm going to set it to 50 milliamps which the LED can tolerate for some time. The output is switched off at the moment, so nothing is happening. We can adjust our parameters, our settings. The coarse voltage knob on this power supply allows us to go up to 30 volts, which would destroy the LED. We also have a fine voltage control, which seems to give about 0.6 of a volt adjustment on the voltage. So we'll have to jiggle these to get the fine steps we want. We'll have a look at the LED at full current, set it to 50 milliamps. We'll turn the voltage up a bit and we'll turn it on. The blinking dots on the milliamps display shows us we've gone into current limit at 50 milliamps. The LED is quite bright and the voltage has stabilized at 2.66 volts. So let's turn that down to zero and at zero volts we get zero current as we'd expect. So we can start there and put in our first point on the chart. If we now increase the voltage and go up towards one volt and we'll keep going till we get some sort of sensible change in the current. So as we approach one volt we've still no significant current flowing keep going at 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1.6, 1.7 .1 and at let's make that 1.9 volts we get 2 milliamps flowing so all the way up to here we're only at about there's 5 milliamps so we've got about 2 milliamps so not much happening till we get to 1.9 volts so we'll increase to 2 volts, and we see we have 6 milliamps flowing, so we can go 2 volts, 5, and 6 will be about there. We'll go up to 2.1, and now the current has gone up to 13 milliamps. There's 10, 11, 12, 13 will be a little of halfway there. We'll increase the current some more. Sorry, increase the voltage to 2.2. And now we have 19 milliamps. So that would take us to about there. Two point three, got about twenty seven milliamps, so that takes us to about there. At two point four, we've got thirty four milliamps, so here's thirty four will be about there. At 2.5, we've got 42 milliamps. And if we go another little bit, we've reached a 2 point, let's take it down to 50 milliamps. We'll reach 50 milliamps at 2.63, so about there. Now if we plot our curve, we get our typical IV curve for the LED. Let's turn down the current.
So this is typical of any diode. Nothing happens until we uh, reach the, the knee voltage or the, the breakover voltage of the diode, and then the current starts to rise exponentially. And this is the main problem with LEDs, that a very small change in voltage from here to here will have a large change in current. And therefore, we need to current limit the LEDs. This is the IV curve for the green LED.